Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be testing out a couple of products from Barry M. So it's actually been a while since I've tried anything new from Barry M because a lot of their stuff just hasn't really appealed to me but during the kind of coronation bank holiday they had quite a big sale on like a discount on their website and so I thought I'd pick up a couple of bits. I have three makeup things that I'm going to try. There's two products that I'm not going to use today because I just can't really incorporate them in the video. The first thing that I'm going to show you is a nail polish. So this is in the shade Tarragon. So this is a gorgeous like green shimmer nail polish. So I'm not going to use it today but it is quite a nice shade so I'm looking forward to using that in the future. And then the other thing that I got was one of their new body scrubs. So this is their marshmallow body scrub. They came out with like a skincare collection and like body stuff and shower stuff. So they also had like a body cream and then this. And I was like, you know what? I just want to try this because I already have a couple of like body moisturizers to use at the moment. So I thought I'd give this a go, but I'll put in like the comment thing here to say how I felt because I'll probably use this today when I have a shower. So I actually have, like I mentioned, three products. They're not, obviously it's not like a full face, which is really annoying because there was a couple of things I wanted to pick up, but I was like, my basket's getting a bit too high, so I thought I'd kind of pause. But the first thing I wanna show you guys is their foundation. So this is the Fresh Face Foundation, and I decided to pick up shade five. Um, and by looking at the chart, I didn't realize kind of how deep this would be now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm quite pale <laughs> and I thought five was like a generous number because I think there's probably about 30, less than 30 shades. I think there might be like 20 or something like that. And I thought I'd pick up five because by the look of the picture and the pictures like of the models, it looked quite decent, but this looks like it might be a bit too deep for me, but I do have a concealer to kind of mellow things out in case it is a bit too deep and obviously the last thing I want is a deep foundation so I'm just giving it a shape because I did kind of swatch it the other day when I got it but it kind of like disappeared into nothing on my arm so I'm kind of hoping it's not going to look too horrible because honestly that's the last thing that I want so I'm just going to put some on my palette and I'm not going to put on a huge amount because again I don't know how deep this is. I do have a primer on. I use the Bobbi Brown uh, Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I know that's a completely different price point, but it was like the first primer that I saw and I was like, I'm just gonna pick it up. So we're gonna take a sponge and we're gonna take it everywhere. And it is kind of like <laughs> a shade if I tanned and I do not tan. So I don't think this is gonna look completely right on me. I'm just kind of intrigued as to the kind of coverage oh no it looks like i just got dirt on my face all right i am going to kind of carry on putting this on and i will definitely add a concealer but it seems like this foundation is not really doing much what does it say on there so it says a lightweight formula blends seamlessly into the skin and leave an ultimate healthy glow infused with skin god goodness goodness um introducing ariane arionia berry with vitamin c blah 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 okay i mean this is not giving me any kind of coverage regardless of like the shade it just looks really kind of like patchy um and yeah this obviously the shade is actually horrendous on me so i'm just going to kind of put this on everywhere then i'm going to add a concealer but i just don't feel like this is going to give me any kind of coverage because this is just like me putting on a fair bit um wow okay i'm actually shocked at my um shade matching because normally i'm too light but now this is like too orange but this is um i mean i've not really seen any reviews on this so i'm not really sure what to kind of expect um <laughs> wow yeah i don't feel like this is gonna do anything for me especially as someone who has very very pigmented skin like i do want a foundation that is gonna give me some coverage and gonna kind of make my skin look nice and healthy this has not done it at all um yeah i don't know it's made kind of obviously regardless of the shade it's made my skin look quite kind of soft and smooth but i just look like i've been on a tan bed so this is obviously a shade that's not going to work for me 
I will try and see if anyone I know is of this shade and give it to them because obviously every time I use this or if I'm well thinking of the formula I'm not really a fan of the formula because it's not again it's not giving me any kind of coverage um, it just isn't going to do nothing so I'm just going to go <laughs> with some concealer and kind of see if I can build up anything because um, yeah this is kind of like a, a light tan on me and I'm just gonna okay so this is um not going so well according to plan so I'm actually gonna go off camera now put on my setting powder blush and highlighter because they're not Barry M products and I do have an eye um, eyeshadow palette and also a lipstick to try out in this video hopefully they'll be more successful but I will be right back okay so now we're gonna go on the eyes I have actually added my Urban Decay primer even though we'll see how it goes because I'm using the Barry M, I don't even know what these are called, but these are the cream eyeshadow palettes. So I got the kind of berry red-ish tone palette because I felt like these colours really, really appeal to, appeal to me. So yeah, these are five cream products and my kind of history with cream products is a bit all over the place because sometimes I feel like they work really well for me and then sometimes they don't at all because my eyelids can be very oily. So me kind of using cream products is a little bit here and there sometimes but I wanted to give this a go because I just want to see what the formula is like and again I've not really seen anyone test these so I'm going to start off with I don't think these have any names no nope, I'm just <laughs> just going to point and kind of go for it so I'm going to start off with um so we've got some deeper shades actually these are all quite deep apart from this one but that's a shimmer um I'm going to go in with this shade just here and I'm going to take brush one of my spectrum brushes and I'm just gonna maybe tap off any excess on my ISO clean palette because I don't want it to be like too heavy on my eyes so I'm just gonna kind of go on the corner and blend it out okay that's not a bad first shade so I'm gonna go in now with a bit of a deeper tone for my outer corner so I feel like going in with this one just here, it's me being adventurous for this, so I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm just gonna tap it slightly and see if it will give me anything, if they will kind of blend on top of each other, I hope, because I want to kind of incorporate these together and this seems like it's a more of a purpley deep shade, so it's not like black, but if I think when blending them in together, they do look like they're turning into a nice-ish shade. Hmm, I'm not vibing with this. I mean, it's kind of blending into nothing and it's very, very patchy. Um, I'm gonna go in with this shade now, which is kind of like a brown. I'm gonna use the same brush because I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. I'm gonna bring it forward just to kind of blend it, but not make it too harsh, even though it seems like it's um, become a tad bit harsh. I'm just blending it in, so let's see how it works. Okay, this is um, a bit of a fail. Um, I'm going to go in, <laughs> I'm going to try and use this purple one now, which is just in the middle, because it looks like it's got some shimmer in there. I'm going to see if it will bring anything to the look, because I feel like I'm not doing very well with this. It's just very, very creamy, and it doesn't seem to be blending out that much. And then if I try and blend it a lot, it becomes very patchy. Um, I don't know I don't know if it's me I mean if people try these before let me know because I am very intrigued if I'm doing anything wrong I mean it won't be my lids because I mean I do use my Urban Decay primer with everything and although it might kind of I mean I don't know if it would kind of work against these cream products but I've tried cream products on top of this that before and it's never really given me this um, this is just yeah it's just patchy and it's not really doing anything because I'm adding it on top and there's no shimmer there's no kind of anything which is a bit sad because I kind of like most of like some of Barry M's things I'm gonna go with this last shade see if it does anything um <laughs> and I just yeah it kind of feels like they're a brand that people don't really talk about much anymore because maybe their products probably aren't as good as they used to be I'm not sure I mean I don't know why I'm adding this shade it's literally not 
doing anything but hair yeah, this is not great um and now we're going to end on the lips and i'm hoping this is going to be good this is their um velvet lipstick in the shade love lust so this has got a really nice kind of design on it and it smells really nice as well because when i was taking off the packet i thought let me just give it a go and see what it smells like but um <clears throat> i'm hoping it's gonna come out quite nicely okay at least that's nice i mean i remember back in the day before i started doing like videos and stuff i used to use barry m lipsticks and they were really nice i remember they used to have like the green one which would turn into like a yellow or a yellow that would turn into like a blue or whatever but um this is my finished look i mean i really don't think <laughs> there's a lot of positives which is really annoying i mean this is probably my own fault choosing the wrong wrong shade but like i mentioned when i was adding the foundation it wasn't giving me any coverage and i don't think this is meant to be I mean I don't think it's a full coverage one but even any type of coverage this is not giving me anything um, and then this is just blending out into just a mess it's so patchy it doesn't really do much for my eyes anything at all maybe I mean I don't think even without using the primer is going to do much because um, my eyelids like I mentioned are so oily that as soon as I put it on they would just separate so it would be so pointless the lipstick is nice I mean I'm not always the biggest fan of bullet lipsticks but I thought I would give it a go because it looked like a nice shade and you know I've used their formula before let me know if you've tried anything by uh, Barry and recently have they do you feel like they kind of lost it slightly do you think they're still really good please let me know because i want to know if there's any products that i should really try and thank you so much for watching hope you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe because i film and upload every time i get a chance to don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because i'm always active on there i appreciate you guys watching hope to see you soon Bye bye